Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Long War 2. So, we don't have much time left on the timer, on the mission. I'm just going to wait two days for this. And then set up the squad for the facility assault. We'll get a few soldiers back. A few high rank soldiers or not. Another retaliation, really? Operation Senseless Covered. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're doing this one instead. I didn't expect second retaliation in such a short time period, but alright. So, let's have a look. Who are we going to bring here? These guys and a few more. That gives us a gunner, a ranger, a specialist and a technical. Let's see. We don't really have a lot of options, do we? Not that many, no. Let's grab spacebar. And who else? A grenadier would be nice. Can we grab a grenadier? Yeah, I guess we can. And who else? Let's check the options. What about a sharpshooter? We could also grab another ranger. That's always nice for firepower, but I wouldn't mind a sharpshooter. Delta? He's only a sergeant. But I guess that will do. And he only has 28 aim, that's a bit low. Gordon, 80 aim, that's a little bit better. How about we grab Gordon, he has slightly higher aim. And I think he has some pistol abilities, yes he does. He has face off. He also has plus 3 aim, PCS. Okay, one more. Second gunner? I think so. Alright, so I'm going to give everyone their gear and see you in just a moment. So, here's the squad. Everyone but one person has a coil weapon, magnetic cannon on ANSI. And let's go then. Actually, hold on. ANSI only has 9 health. That's a little bit low. Probably worth giving him... Let's see. Nanoscale vest? Yeah, alright, I wouldn't want him to die. There, now we're ready. Let's go then. So, defend the Haven again. Oh, I hope we won't get the bug again, but we probably will, and I'll have to reload. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. We got eight turns. So, let's grab resistance personnel first. Let's look around first. We got one person over here. So, grab him or her, and move somewhere safe. Where's the evac? Right here now. Okay. We don't have that much space. And not a lot of high ground that we could use. Yeah, this looks kind of bad. There is some high ground back here. Right. Oh, great. Yep, the circles are already gone. So I have to reload. See you in a moment. There, that's better. So, let's dash towards these two people. With who? Doesn't really matter all that much. No one can get there in a blow move anyway. Okay, off you go. We'll move into cover. But this is probably the zone wall back here. Yep, that's the zone wall. 
so it doesn't really matter all that much. We could keep some people back here. That seems like a decent enough idea. Seeing how this is the zone wall right here. Sure. Okay, we got more. I need to move to grab these. Heading out. All right. We shouldn't have any faceless. At least I don't think so. But maybe. Oh, and there are more, right. And another one, and another. Yeah, we have quite a lot of resistance personnel in here, and yet another person on the left. Alright, hold on. This might take a little bit of time to grab all of them. Freddy. Then we got Buzz. I just want to grab as many as possible on the first turn. So these guys will be a little bit spread out. I don't like that too much. But I have to grab them. Wait, really? Gordon can't move without setting himself on fire? What the heck? Okay, that's just stupid. Starting literally inside fire. And yes, I did see the faceless, unfortunately. Well, we should kill it. I'll have to use a medkit on Gordon, which is really annoying. Can we actually kill that faceless? That would be nice. There, it's down. Okay, then. Move you to the back. I think we're done, basically. This is going to be a lot of civilians to hunker down with every single turn. Alright. Yep. That's a lot of dudes. Oh, we don't have the control of this one, really? Why do we not have control of that guy? That's a bit strange, but okay. This will take a while, but I can already tell as much. So hunker down, all of you. And Overwatch. Here comes the first group. How bad is it? It's bad. Andromedon. Can we hit it? Yes, we can. Nice. At least we shredded it. And they also have an elite rocketeer. That's bad. And now Gordon will be on fire. Because apparently starting you inside the fire makes sense. Well then, cyclic fire on Andromedon. Would be nice to move, but if I want to use cyclic fire, I can't move. Wait, what? 17%? Oh, it has full cover, right. How about we use a rocket launcher or something like that? Okay, with all these civilians under our direct control, this is going to be incredibly annoying. And probably take twice as long. So what about that rocket? We might be a little bit too far away. Only one way to find out, I guess. It might just work, but scatter will be pretty bad. Let's do it anyway. Fingers crossed. Yeah, that's not too bad. We didn't destroy cover for Andromedon, but... We should be able to kill Rocketeer, that's the important part. Now, can we actually destroy cover somehow? Probably not. And how do we kill the Rocketeer? Take a shot with spacebar. With the subcoiler. Seems reasonable. Alright. What's our chance to hit? 60%. We just need a graze. He's down. Now, I don't think we'll be killing the Andromedon on this turn. That seems very, very unlikely. If not outright impossible. But we'll try. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen. We could use a grenade, but that's probably a waste. Moving to position. I could freeze it. That's an option. I'm actually strongly considering that. 
Yeah, I think it's worth freezing it. That stupid fire, it's so annoying. I need to move Gordon, I can't just leave him in the open. But then he will be on fire. That's just stupid. And there's nothing I can do about that. I can heal him after moving, but I will effectively waste two turns. As in, I will waste a turn on two different soldiers. But okay, I suppose we have to do it. It's a massive waste of a medkit. But he won't be able to use his weapon when he's on fire. Okay, and we'll set up with steady weapon right away. And I guess we should freeze the Andromedon. I don't like wasting the frost bomb on the first turn, but oh well. Andromedons can be nasty. We'll probably still have to destroy his cover on the next turn. Somehow, no idea how we're going to do that. Right, let's run. As for Ansi, I suppose we could use Hello Bullets. We could also dash to flank it and then use Cyclic Fire on the next turn. It's not a bad idea. I would prefer to move into cover if at all possible. So like this, like this. I assume we'll kill it on the next turn, which we might or might not. Oh yeah, we also got Steven. 48% chance through full cover. Yeah, that's not bad. I could also dash and then use chain shot on the next turn. That might be better. I think that's going to be better. Not a problem. Or we could use a blow move and then walk fire. Now let's just make a move to flank it on the next turn. And we'll do the same with Ansi. Yep. I'm just thinking about where exactly to stand. Already Next there. to the tree will do. And that's that. So hunker down with all these people. Not sure if we got all of them, but we got enough. At least for now. And reinforcements. I hope it won't be too bad, because we have to deal with that Andromedon. Okay. What are these guys? Shield bearer? That looks like a shield bearer or a heavy. Yep, shield bearer and first sergeant. Only two guys, we can deal with that. But first Andromedon. Andromedon needs to die. And I think I heard a faceless? Maybe not. Well, anyway, cyclic fire. Do we want hollow targeter on it? I can't use hollow targeter on it. Never mind then. So cyclic fire. Fingers crossed. This should be enough, hopefully. It wasn't. Well, that's disappointing. It's down to literally one health. Come on now, really? We were one damage short. So how about we throw a grenade? To also do some damage to the shield bearer? Yep, let's do that. And I do plan to kill the first surgeon. There, that didn't even destroy the cover. But it's fine, Andromedon Seed cannot use cover. Unfortunately, so now we can use chain shot on it. We can take a regular shot and then use chain shot. In fact, we don't even need to use chain shot. Steven has blue screen ammunition. He can just do this on his own without wasting chain shot cooldown because chain shot does have cooldown. And. Walk fire? There. No, there's no need. Just a regular shot will do. Okay. Rip. What do you expect? And now, the shield bearer and the first sergeant. Let's have a look. Space bar. She can kill the shield bearer, maybe even the first sergeant. 
All right, let's do it. Please don't miss, thanks. Not quite good enough. But at least it wasn't a miss. I do have Skull Mine, but I would prefer to save it. For now. Let's see, we need to hit. Yeah, they have cover. So I don't know about that. What about Gordon? 75% chance to kill the shield bearer. It's a kill. So now the first sergeant. Impressed yet? Who can finish off the first sergeant? Oh nice, we got a promotion. Can we finish off the first sergeant? It's kind of hard to see how many more soldiers we got. Too many civilians. Okay, Freddy is still available, so Freddy can kill the sergeant. Here I come. Yes, here you come. Only 67 percent. Yep, he has tactical sense. I'm almost tempted to use Halo bullets, but that feels like a massive waste from almost point blank range. He's dead. Didn't need Halo bullets. You want some more? And now we can Overwatch. Conquer down. All right, Overwatch. We didn't lose a single civilian yet, other than the one that was faceless, but there's no way to change that. Faceless are basically already lost. And that's an Archon. I'm not happy about that. Probably easier to deal with than Andromedon, though. However... They are too far away. Oh, there's one more civilian that we didn't grab. Alright then. We need to move around a little bit. Let's grab these people. Oh, we still don't control this guy. Right, hold on. This is a little bit weird. I'm on it. Is this enough? Yep. So move out of the way, thanks. Just move to the back. Move them all to the back. This is where the extraction zone is going to be. Maybe don't group up too much. In case some mech decides to use a rocket launcher. Now, how do we deal with that new group? I can't even see it, unfortunately. Skull mine would be a waste. Yep, I can't even see them. We might have to just overwatch on this turn, Finally. for the most part. Because I really don't see what else we can do. We can't really do much else. Not when I literally can't see them. There's the Archon. Can we kill the Archon somehow? Or the Archer? Yeah, the Archer might be more dangerous than the Archon, actually. It could kill several civilians in one go, if we let it. Steven needs to dash. I don't think Freddy is close enough to attack anything either. No, he definitely is not. Well then, I'm not sure about this. How about Haywire Protocol? We could try to take over. 76%, that seems pretty good. But if it fails, it's going to suck, because I'll miss out on a granted stun. Let's try to control it. We got it. Okay, good. That's going to help quite a lot. Got it. I like how it gained health after we did that. Not sure what's going on with that, but... Now, I don't think we'll kill the Archon. Not on this turn. We just aren't close enough. Yeah, we definitely can't kill the Archon on this turn. I could use a flashbang grenade. I can almost flashbang them both. Yeah, they are one tile too far away from each other. I could flashbang them both if they were just one tile closer. Annoying, but... What can you do? I don't think we can do anything with Ansi either. No, he's too far away. 
Overwatch is the best we can do here. Okay, but let's throw that flashbang grenade then. There's a good chance both the Lancer and the Archon will target the mech. That's what I'm counting on, basically. But we'll see about that. Alright, Overwatch it is then. Not much else we can do. And yes, you guys are staying back here. Preferably on this side. So that you'll have some cover at least. Are you safe over here? Five more turns. As for Freddy, just move up a bit and Overwatch. We still got Halo bullets, so... Oh, Berserker, okay. That's not too bad, we can deal with that. And the shield bearer, I think. Or not? I didn't quite catch it. Nice camera angle. Very useful. What are you doing? What is that Lancer doing? Can we kill it? No, maybe. Nope. Oh, he's attacking Lotharion. That's annoying. Now he's stunned. I like how he yells that he needs a medic, but he is the medic. The Archon is targeting a civilian. Alright. That's just one dead civilian. That's fine. I think this haven was full, basically. Wait, why did we lose the mech archer? That makes no sense. What? What the heck happened there? Oh, that's because Lotharion got stunned, isn't it? That's annoying. That's very annoying. So what the heck do we do? I guess we can skull mine this guy, seeing how he's already here. Almost got it, but not quite. It's fine, we got failsafe. <sighs> yeah, I kind of wanted that mech, I'm not gonna lie. What the heck do we do now? 90%. We have to kill that mech, unfortunately. There, that will do it. I don't think we'll be killing the Berserker, but we have to get rid of that stupid Archon. Let's move already. What's our chance to hit? Oh great, we don't have line of sight from here, damn it. I thought I saw the Icon. Melee? Can we not run through fire? That would be great. Really? We can't do it like that? Apparently you can't use waypoints when you use flesh, because that would be overrated. On the move. Okay then. I can't get line of sight to the Archon. Maybe from the left. Absolutely. What's our chance to hit then? Only 57%. Okay fine, let's use Halo bullets. I want to try killing it. We only need 10 more damage. How hard can it be to do 10 damage? Let's do this. There's no way we'll be killing the Berserker, however. There's just no possible way we can do that. Not on this turn. So... How about we melee without I'm running away. through the fire? There we go, it's down. Nice. How many more shots do we have? Freddy doesn't have line of sight. We got like two more shots. Technically, it's still possible that we'll kill the Berserker. Nope, not anymore. We needed more than five damage there in order to make that happen. That's our last shot with Bass. And then we just got Overwatch. Yep, not going to happen. A graze and a miss. On Overwatch. That's our chance gone. Four more turns. Oh yeah, we still got Steven, but he's too far away to be useful, unfortunately. We can still use Overwatch. 
but we would have to hit twice in a row and do actual good damage. Here's another Archon. Nice shot. Heavy Rocketeer, yeah. And the Shield Bearer. Now he has high ground. Will the Berserker get the shield? Yep, it will. So there's definitely no way we'll be killing it. At least it missed us. Right. So now we're being attacked from two different directions. These civilians are really getting on my nerves. It takes twice as long to get to your soldiers. There, I was looking for Buzz. Because we're going to need his rocket launcher. Unfortunately. Something like this. I'm hoping to hit all three. Scatter might prevent that. But let's go for it. That's not too bad, we got two crits. And we destroyed cover. I want to kill this entire group. So that should be pretty easy to achieve now. Let's see, Steven. Where's Steven? Right here. I would still like to kill the Berserker, but these guys are a bit more important right now. There. It's, it's down, and now we can use walk fire. No, we can't. Just a regular shot. This is a guaranteed kill, because it will be at least a graze. So down it goes, and we killed the entire group, right? We did kill the mech. Right, now the Berserker and the Shield Bearer. The Shield Bearer will be slightly trickier because it's far away and it has full cover. Let's see, Lotharion. Let's spread out slightly. Can we move into full cover of some description? Yeah, we can. On the move. Over here we'll do. And take a shot. There's no need to use a medkit. He's only two health down. Let's kill the Berserker. We'll just burn for the shield. It wouldn't be very efficient to go for the shield bearer right now. And slash it in the face. We can just kill it like that with slash. Works for me! Rip. So, three more turns. We're getting there. I don't think I can do much about the shield bearer. That seems unlikely. Ready to rock. I could use rapid targeting, but that would achieve nothing. Let's set up on Where the high ground saying? with Gordon. And steady weapon. Gordon actually has elite stock. Which means that's plus 25. As for others, we'll just stay spread out and use Overwatch. Because we got more reinforcements incoming. Alright, Overwatch it is then. These missions are going to get pretty tedious pretty quickly. <laughs> when you have to manually control so many civilians. And here comes another group, with a chrysalid this time. Let's see if we can kill it. Maybe. Good start. Come on, kill the chrysalid, thanks. It's down. Nice job. That's a Sidewinder Viper, two Sidewinder Vipers. We still got the Shield Bearer, but he just gave up the high ground. Silly you. And we can actually flank him. We can also just hit him in the face. Yep, sounds good to me. That will break Overwatch. And then we can flank him. Before we do that, how do we deal with the Vipers? Can we kill everything on this turn? Good question, how's Gordon's chance to hit? We do have rapid targeting, so that's an option. I also have face off, but that no, that's not useful. Should we shoot the shield better? 
How do we deal with this? I can flank it. I can pretty much hit it from point blank range. And what else? Steven. Well, Steven could use both barrels. That's probably the best way to kill that Viper, yeah. Let's do that. That's, yeah, that's a kill. Unless we graze, which is a possibility, actually. He's down. Nice. Now, the other Viper. And the Shield Bearer. Can we do that? We only got one person who can flank that Viper. That would be ANSI. That's it. What's your chance to hit? 68%. Not amazing, not much point using the knife, because that's very little damage. Should we just use rapid targeting? Possibly? Wait, do we have Halo bullets? Yes, Freddy has Halo bullets. Halo bullets might kill it. Then again, Ansi might also kill it with a point-blank range shot. He didn't even hit. <laughs> well, so much for that idea. Hell of bullets, then. It needs to die. There, he's down. Shame we had to waste hell of bullets for that, but oh well. Now, the shield bearer. I don't think we can kill the shield bearer on this turn. Seems unlikely. I can't even flank it. Not with bass, anyway. We can get one flanking shot, but it... No, that's not a flanking shot. It was showing us a flanking shot. Okay, never mind. Let's just flashbang him. I don't like wasting flashbang from a grenadier on a single target, but... I can't kill the shield bearer, so the best thing we can do is flashbang him. That's the only reasonable option. We only have to wait two more turns. As for Gordon... Well, actually, Gordon does have a chance to kill it. Maybe I should have tried that first. In before we kill him now. <laughs> we almost did, actually. Armor still holding. Yeah, we almost did. He's down to two health. Overwatch. But I still don't have a follow-up. So I suppose that flush by grenade will be useful after all. Wait, Lotharion can kill him. Out. Okay, I guess we wasted a flashbang grenade. Not the end of the world. RIP. Down. One more turn. And we can get the heck out of here. Which means we need to move towards the extraction zone on this turn. And that's a mutant elite. Okay, so can we move towards the extraction zone while dealing with the mutant elite? Can we deal with this entire pod? That's a little rocket here, mutant elite, and a trooper. Might be a little bit problematic. No more rockets, unfortunately, just a concussion rocket, which is useless. Where's spacebar? All the way back here. Too far away to do anything, basically. Yep. So, we do have flashbang grenades. Cyclic fire. Not on the trooper, that seems useless. Is that a like rocketeer standing in the open? What's your cover? Oh, there's like a stamp over here that's cover. Okay. Well, we could suppress the mutant elite. That's one option. What else can we do? Buzz cannot do anything. He can use command on someone. That's probably the best he can do on this turn. I'm on it. Is Stanislav close enough to use a grenade? No, he's not. Yeah, this is going to be problematic. How about we use rapid targeting now on the mutant? I would like to kill the Rocketeer, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Unless Gordon can do it on his own. Gordon would have to do it on his own, but he only has 37% chance to hit. 
We're better off taking a shot at the trooper with Gordon. There, one down. The least dangerous enemy, but oh well. Can we reach the Rocketeer with a Flashman grenade? We might be able to. Freddy will have to do it. No, I can't. I could suppress it. There's no possible way I can kill the mutant elite. It's just not going to happen. We don't have the damage. Which means we have to neutralize it somehow. But how? It's a shame we don't have the frost bomb anymore. We do have a flanking shot with ANSI, but that's obviously not going to do enough damage. Absolutely. Also, I'll be too far away from the extraction zone. This is really annoying. There's no possible way we can extract everyone on the next turn. It's simply not going to happen. We have to plan to kill these guys somehow. I just don't see a good way to do it. I'm trying to figure it out, but there's nothing. If only we could destroy his cover. There is an option, but it's not granted. I really hate how you can't reliably destroy cover even with a specialized grenadier. Because if I knew that I'll be able to destroy his cover, I would be able to kill him. But we might end up just completely wasting command and doing pretty much nothing to his cover. That honestly makes the Grenadier class a lot less useful in the late game. Because you can't rely on them to destroy cover. Still, this is the only possible way to maybe kill the Muton. Although, I'm not entirely convinced that it's going to be close enough. If we stand over here, let's say. I don't have any other plan, so I suppose we'll do that. And use command. Okay, let's go for it. Not much I can do about the Rocketeer, unfortunately. This is just barely close enough. Yep, it won't do anything to his cover. I'm still going to shred it, because that's a lot of armor. Well... Yeah, 28%. Not going to happen. Take the shot or suppress him. You guys seriously need to move. Let's just move them and hunker down or something. Sucks that I can't do anything about the Rocketeer. But there's just nothing. I can't do anything. Oh well. I mean, there's no point debating it. There's nothing I can do about the Rocketeer, period. just move these people out of the way. This is already my least favorite mission type in all of Long War 2. Because dealing with all these civilians manually every single turn is just way too tedious for my taste. I don't like it. I won't pretend that I like it because I don't. And it makes dealing with your squad that much more annoying too. Okay, so what the heck do we do here? I really don't know. The Rocketeer is just outside of range. The only chance we have to kill him is to use Chain Shot. 
and either hit or graze with the first shot. That's the only possible way we might kill the Rocketeer. I guess I'm still going to try it. Since that's the only technical possibility in before we actually do it. Come on, one more. We actually did kill him! Okay, <laughs> I did not see that one coming. Now, what about the Muton? We'll suppress the Muton with Freddy. And we'll take a shot with Ansi. Is everyone in range of the extraction zone? Except Ansi. Wait. Right, suppress. We'll have to wait one extra turn to get everyone out. And unfortunately, that means we got yet another group. Okay. Hi. You guys come here often? Personal shield. I don't like that thing. And he hit us. Well, that's okay. It's not a lot of damage. So, we can get the civilians out of here. Is anything on Overwatch? Yes, the mech is. Okay, so... Maybe we should use the concussion rocket. The problem is that they will get smoke if I use that. It's more of a desperation move than anything else. First, we have to break Overwatch on the mech before we do anything else. We could kill the mech with cycling fire, that's a possibility. We could also use saturation fire, that's not a bad idea, actually. This is the best move we got, in fact. Alright, let's go for it. Come on, Freddy. That was very disappointing, actually. That was extremely disappointing. I pretty much regret I used that. <laughs> okay. What's done is done. We could kill the mech. There, he's down. Okay. There's no way I can kill the mutant elite on this turn. We'll probably flashbang it. I do want to kill the grenadier. And let's get the civilians out of here first. So, get over here. Overwatch is gone, so we don't have to worry about that. This will take a moment or two. So we saved all except one civilian, the one that died early on. I would call that a pretty good outcome. I hope we won't get a third retaliation <laughs> again in like the next week. Because doing two of these in a short time period was enough for my taste. I wonder how bad it will get once you control most of the regions in the world. Can't say I would like to do five retaliations in a row. Anyway... How the heck do we do this? So Gordon can evac on the next turn. What's our chance to hit? It's kind of crap. I still got cyclic fire, but that won't really do as much good. Well, actually, no. Our chance to hit is way too low on the muton. It's the stupid tactical sense, and also I need to move if I want to evac Ansi on the next turn. And I kind of do. On the way. So take a regular shot. I would like to kill the Muton, if possible. We only need two more damage. Okay then, can we use combat protocol? Yeah, we do have combat protocol. We should be able to use it just I fine. Need. I don't see why not. Okay, combat protocol, kill the Muton, and then deal with the other two.
How do we deal with the other two? The Elite Gunner and a Grenadier. Can we kill the Grenadier at least? Seems unlikely. Out. Can we flashbang them with someone? Well, we can kill the Grenadier with Steven, but then Steven will be a little bit flanked by the Elite Gunner, and I don't like that. For obvious reasons. I don't think we're close enough to use a concussion rocket either. That thing is so useless. It really is. That's easily the most useless ability for a technical <laughs> so far from my impression. We definitely aren't close enough to use that flashbang. So I'm out of options. We can take a shot with Gordon and hope that we'll graze the Grenadier or something. I guess that's an option. Nope, we missed. Not even close. Well, that's basically it. Question remains, do we want to take this shot or not? I don't think so, because if we fail to kill him, then Steven will be flanked by two different enemies, and there's a good chance he will die. So no, that's not a good idea, not at all. We can overwatch and hope that we'll kill them with reaction shots when they try to move towards us. That's the only idea I got. Or these guys will trigger reaction shots. That's probably what's going to happen. Yep, they will. Okay. I mean, we tried. I just want to get out of here at this point. Here comes the Grenadier. And... Damn it. It's bad. Oh, is the gunner on fire? Looks like he is. Stacks to be him. Don't panic on me. Thanks. No one panicked. Okay, good. Can we get out with everyone now? I think so. I'm not sure. Let's check. It's kind of hard to check. I think everyone can get out. Moving to position. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone can get out. Just don't panic on me, thanks. I know Gordon is in range. Freddy should be in range. Ansi is just barely in range. Okay, Steven. Freddy should be in range as well. Yeah, okay, we can get out with everyone. Nice. We're done then. That was a little bit tedious, but I'm glad we're done. We only lost one resistance personnel. Well, technically we lost more, but the others were faceless. And we got a promotion for Gordon. So, Gordon. Oh no, that's Stanislav. Biggest bombs then. Yep. And Gordon. That's going to be... What is it going to be? Deadshot? I guess that makes sense. Okay, Deadshot. Works for me. We didn't get any items, that's fine. I mean, obviously, not from this mission type. And we still got the mission coming up to extract VIP. I guess that's what we'll be doing next. And once we're done with that, I'll set up the squad for facility assault. I'm still a little bit worried about that UFO, but I can't just keep waiting. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. But as it stands...